Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike. And thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Hey, do you ever struggle with motivation? And that's appropriate for like Monday mornings for a lot of us, right? Do you ever struggle with motivation? And some days you feel like it and others you just don't. And what's up with that? Right? Something wrong with me? Well, in my career, I struggled with uh, the same thing. Uh, on my good days, I was good. Uh, but for some reason, it was just hard to string those together. You ever feel that way? I sometimes wondered why I had a hard time doing the things I said were important. Right? I get why I don't do things other people say are important, but what's up with that? I, I said these things were important. Why am I struggling with this? It could have been my work activities, uh, sticking to my schedule maybe, uh, getting up on time, eating right, exercising on a regular basis. It could be any of those or others. What, what's wrong with me? Why don't I do what I said was important? Am I just not as motivated as other people are? Am I lazy? What's wrong with me? Well, then I came to realize that motivation and inspiration are mostly external factors, not internal. Basically, I learned not to rely on myself that much, but to seek motivation and inspiration from outside sources. I kind of got this from watching athletes. They do it, right? Before the game, they all have their headphones on. What, what are they doing? They're trying to get their mind right for the game. They're trying, hey, if you make $20 million a year, do you, should you really have a problem getting up for the game? Apparently, apparently it doesn't matter how much money you make. Apparently, everybody struggles for the same thing. Once I discovered this little secret, things started clicking right into place. Once I learned to, that motivation is external, it's not internal, then the pressure came off and I just learned how to play the game. Like friends, oh my gosh, maybe not a bigger influence on how you feel today than the people in your life that you allow yourself to spend time with. Do you know that when a great team plays a bad team in any type of sporting event, the bad team never plays up, the good team plays down. It happens over and over and over again. The, bad, the good team plays down to the bad team's level, and it works that way with the people in your life too. I just stopped associating with people that I didn't admire. I resolved that I was only going to spend time with people that I admired and respected and basically made me want to be better. Uh, work associates. Uh, this ain't a social club, folks. It's not. This is a place to conduct your business. Uh, too many people treating it like a social club. I wouldn't do that because other people around you may not want the same things that you do. Uh, books. Books can be a great source of external motivation. Videos with YouTube at your fingertips. Um, at least one, two, three motivational type videos a day whenever I'm feeling a tad lethargic. Music. Probably where I started, I found uh, music could change my state. It could change my energy level. It could change my mindset. Um, I've got playlists on my phone. I listen to them to get me up. Some of them are specifically geared just for that, to get me going when I don't feel like it. Motivation. Uh, yeah, I know we all struggle with this. And some of us are hating on ourselves because we're not everything we expect ourselves to be. And to that, I just urge you, quit looking within yourself. Quit expecting that it's supposed to be something inside you that creates this burning desire to get up, get dressed, and go take on the day. You're probably not going to feel like it that often. When you do, great. When you don't, watch out for the self-medicating. 
the energy drinks, which are nothing but caffeine and sugar, uh, the comfort foods, watch out for that and start finding some productive ways to get your mind right. Watch who you're spending time with. Birds of a feather, right? Books, videos, music. Uh -huh. These are all things, external forces that we can use to help us achieve peak performance state. That's my responsibility, not to automatically feel it inside, but to go seeking it and expose myself to it so I can get myself in a peak performance state. And I think if you and I did that today, like right now, like get off this call and go find something that pumps your ass up. And if we did, I think we would be going out and making it happen for ourselves.